Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dumelo, and this is Living by Dumelo. And yeah, today I'm back with another episode of well, the final episode, episode four of my Let's Talk About dot, 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 series. So today we're talking about healing. So before we get it, before I get into that, I just want to give I guess feedback on how my previous supply for my previous video went. So my plan was to believe more, to believe God more, to believe God's word more, to believe what God has said to me more. And so that was like in so I took the video in May. So between wow, between end of May and now, it's definitely been a journey of just having a conversation with God around um why I can't believe him more like what's in the way and in that figuring out and seeing and realizing Holy Spirit showing me that it's actually a thing of like there's just there's there's like a lot of doubt and fear that's play that's contributing yeah into I um believing God is 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 shaky for me in a way um believing him you know from like my head and mind like the understanding part like in my head it's like easy it makes sense but like in my heart um realizing that actually there's stuff that i'm holding on to there's stuff that i haven't given to god for him to deal and work through that is making it kind of tough kind of not easy for me to believe him wholeheartedly so that's yeah so that's the um, but yeah, so for this video, I'm going to talk about healing as I said, so I'll just be sharing um, my, I want to say two cents, but two cents feels if I'm depreciating, uh, I guess the, the way of kind of what I'm going to say, but I'll just be sharing my experience, I'll be sharing my experiences, my experience, well, experiences, and thoughts, and what, um, has been shared with me too with you so let's get into it so i've been on um this healing journey oh, for three years this is the third year so yeah so this is the third year on the healing journey and just healing from a childhood tra traumatic event yeah a childhood traumatic event and it was an event that before 2017 the weight and intensity of what had happened and the effect of it i didn't really realize i didn't really get until like in a lecture imagine <laughs> the weight of what happened just like clicked and i'm like wait whoa what happened was not okay i am not okay because wow, i'm affected like i'm affected by that and it's just been like a journey of Ooh, yeah yeah it's just been it's been a journey a eh? and just a journey of realizing that this is not going to be an overnight thing this is not going to take two days this is not going to take two weeks this is going to take a, a good a while probably because i guess that event has infiltrated and, and negatively affected like so many parts of my life you know where it's almost like the root of this event has found itself in just every in my life so it's just been this this journey of allowing god um to work through every single space and part of me to de root you know the tree you know that event is planted in my life so it hasn't been easy um, I'm just yeah the other week I was just telling my friend that man healing is is not nice um, healing is painful healing is uncomfortable like it's not nice because now you're going back to that moment um, you're allowing yourself you're being, yeah, you're being intentional in allowing yourself to feel and to experience and to sometimes relive that experience. So it's, yeah, it's just, it's been a lot. It's been, yeah, it's it's been the journey. <laughs> it, it's just been a journey. And I feel like one of the things I'm really grateful for is that 
throughout the journey I've always had someone to walk with someone who's either um, is going through a healing journey of their own but they've been in the healing journey for a bit longer or someone who's already healed from whatever it is God was you know working through and helping them through in their lives so I'm just really grateful for that and I think that's what I'd really encourage um, anyone who's going through um, their own healing journey or who is acknowledging and realizing that hey actually this event or this thing or this person whatever really hurt me and you see that you actually need to heal from that i'd really encourage you to find someone um who's going to help you through that healing journey um, and for me initially i first went to a psychologist and yeah i first went to a psychologist and it was great it was very helpful but because um my relationship with God and the Word of God is plays such a huge role in my life, and that aspect of my life was not being um, almost like acknowledged or really incorporated. Um, I guess with seeing my psychologist, with well, she doesn't belong to me, but with seeing the psychologist, the psychologist I was seeing, the sessions we had were not as fulfilling um, because she wasn't relating or including anything that involves God or the word. So for me it wasn't fulfilling. So then I ended up um journeying with or I ended up talking to um one of the councils that counselors that we have at at church and that is so fulfilling for me. Okay so this is me editing the video and I just want to clarify to say that I'm not saying that you should substitute going to a psychologist with seeing a counsellor. Psychologists are trained professions who have degrees and have knowledge as to how to deal with and help someone work through certain issues. So for me, after seeing the, psycho the psychologist that I was seeing for the duration that I saw her in, I then went to see uh, one of the counsellors at church to help me make sense of what the psychologist is saying in terms of the word in relation to God. So if you, if it's possible for you to go to a psychologist in, at the same time see a counsellor at church, that'd be great, that's amazing. I wish I did that. If I knew better, I would have done that. So just to clarify so that we don't confuse things here. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can continue now. Well, fulfilling the sense of like, it really, it helped me because when she'd speak and when she'd ask questions and when she'd um, raise pointers or whatever, it would come from, you know, from the word. Or it would come from a place where she's mindful of what the word says. She's mindful of where I'm, I don't know, like where I'm at with God and me being able to freely speak about, okay, no, this is how I feel about God and situations, how I feel about this, how I feel about that. So I definitely encourage you to have someone, yeah, someone that you are just walking this journey with because walking this journey alone, it's, oh, it, it's going to be even more difficult than it has to be for you. So it's very important to have people who are just ready to just listen to you, who are just ready to just give you a hug, to just be in the same space with you. Like it's really, really important because you will yeah it's it's yeah it's gonna be so difficult to do or to go through this healing journey on your own and it's it's yeah also like with i don't know just sharing with people or having someone to to walk in journey with it's really important to remember that your healing journey will not be the same as john martha matthew tenby's journey like it won't be the same like your healing journey is unique and specific to you because even if like what you went through is identical to what the next person went through but because you're the person you you are unique and your background and your personality like there's so many things so many things about you that makes you so unique that even in how you're going to heal or how your healing journey looks like you know is not going to be the same so therefore applying someone else's template as to how they finally got to the moment where they felt like they were healed or completely healed or whatever applying that template you know and based on their experience to your own healing journey is not going to be fair for you so like it's very important um you ought to remember that because there's moments where I was like, oh God, it took joy for 
months, you know, to heal and to feel better um, from this or whatever. But why? It's been year two. God, what's happening? It's been year three. God, what's happening? So it's very important to remember that your healing journey is very specific and very unique to you and who you are as a person. So don't put, yeah, don't apply that pressure of feeling as if you need to be at a certain point by this time, as feeling as if you need to stop being angry or you need to be feeling this or whatever at this time. Like, don't put that amount of pressure on yourself. Like, your healing journey is unique to you. So yeah, don't put that pressure on yourself of thinking that you need to be at that point at a certain time because don't, like, yeah, like, just allow yourself to be present in where you're at you know um allow yourself to feel what yes allow yourself to feel what you need to feel like don't rush yourself you know don't feel as if oh no i need to be i need to be over this i need to be no even if it takes you four days you know to process one thing or four days to whatever like don't pressure yourself to be where you're not okay so just allow yourself to be present in where you are to be present in what you feel and to allow yourself to feel what you need to feel and one thing for me that i found was really beneficial and still is beneficial for me in my healing journey is journaling 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 because in that way you're able to express how you're feeling and able to make sense of what you feel because sometimes when you're just thinking about something it's in your mind it's in your mind it's in your mind it's different you know um to when you're writing it down or sometimes um i know personally for me sometimes i just tend to just put away and ignore what i'm feeling not acknowledge it but the moment i just pick up my pen and just start writing i don't know how i feel and from you know just it just flows it's almost like it just it flows out so it really helps to process it really helps to just reflect on what you feel and reflect on what's going on so definitely um i really encourage you to share know too and i think the last thing i want to say is don't give up on yourself um yeah yeah i mean you will have moments because i'm just thinking about when i've, I've had like your many moments and times so i'm just like god actually i'm tired of this i'm done this feels unnecessary what's going on um make it stop give me two months like please pause the world i just need two months to like breathe and like collect myself and stuff um and it's okay to have those moments and it's, it's okay to have times where you just feel as if you you can't you know continue like it's okay to have those moments where you just pause take a breath and then just you know continue and like try again you know um yeah because we yeah because healing is essential to ensure that whatever hurt it was you know it doesn't reoccur later on in life as something different you know because the moment you don't work through and deal and allow yourself to heal yeah allow yourself to heal and work through something don't think just by ignoring it and pushing it aside and putting it away it's going to disappear it won't disappear you know if anything it might come back even worse you know um yeah so definitely um yeah don't give up you know and don't rush yourself you know um yeah yeah it's it's death's a journey it's definitely a journey and there's so much learning of yourself i'm just like rediscovering yourself um that happens throughout this healing journey you being able to just learn things about yourself and see things about yourself that you actually didn't realize or actually didn't, were not able to acknowledge before so yeah 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 so be patient to yourself be kind to yourself um there's always tomorrow also you know if today wasn't a great deal today don't work out whatever like it's okay just take a moment pause breathe and then try again tomorrow or try again in an hour or try again in five minutes you know um yeah yeah so that's that's just what i wanted to share about yeah about healing you know um yeah so thank you so much for watching um i hope you subscribed if not please do subscribe just the red button i, I don't know
can you click subscribe button below? But it's the red button below. Just click subscribe and also the notification bell to be notified when I post a video. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it and please do um, share this or watch it with someone that you think will benefit from it. Um, yeah, I'll just share just to, I don't know, share knowledge or share experience with someone. Um, yeah, or maybe even share this to like start a conversation about, I don't know, healing or just like, yeah, yeah, just sh share. <laughs> um, so I think also, uh, what I want to apply for the coming week, um, yeah, is, yeah, is to like, is to slow down, yeah, because I feel, um, that my mind because there's so many things that I'm thinking about or looking for because at this point I'm looking at not at the year as a whole and not month like I'm not looking at things monthly but like okay the rest of the, the rest of the year what needs to be done what do I need to do by the end by, by December so mine is already it's looking at the last how many months we have left the last is it four months the last four or five months that we have of this year so because of that i'm just you know it's just in my head so i just need to to be to pause and to be more conscious and present in moments and in conversations and to be more intentional in my actions i just it's to pause you know before i do something is to pause check in with myself check in with the holy spirit before i do something so that's what i'm to apply for next week and again thank you so much for watching um until the next video, uh, so I'm definitely starting a, a different series. Uh, maybe I'll be vlogging on campus. Maybe we'll see. Hopefully the way that behaves, but I mean I don't know. We'll see. You'll see in the next video actually if um what happens. So yeah, so definitely stick around, subscribe for that.